Hey, welcome back. So today I'll be doing a step-by-step -step guide showing how to install AMD's Rock M with an RX 6000 series GPU in Linux. But this guide will also work for a number of the older generation GPUs as well. I've included a link in the description talking about compatibility with older generations. But take note that this link doesn't include any RDNA series GPUs. However, I can confirm that RDNA cards are compatible. I'll also be showing how to install PyTorch, which is a machine learning framework for Python, and it allows you to run tools such as Stable Diffusion and YOLO Object Detection, both of which I'll be showing how to install and run today as well. If you're an NVIDIA user and are curious how to install CUDA, then I'll be covering that in my next video. Alright, so let's jump straight into the guide and head over to my website where I've posted the written version of the guide. All the commands I'll be using today are on there to make it easy to copy and paste. The link is in the video description. I'll be showing how to install this on Ubuntu first, and then afterwards I'll go over how to do it on an Arch-based distro. I'm currently running a fresh installation of Kubuntu since I prefer it over vanilla Ubuntu, but these steps will work on any Ubuntu-based distro. Also, I'll be showing how to install everything locally on the system, instead of using containers such as Docker. Some people may prefer going the container route instead, especially if you're a developer who frequently works with different versions of packages. But for most people, installing locally will be perfectly fine. So the first thing we'll need to do is download the AMD GPU drivers which contain ROCKM. At this moment, PyTorch is only supported with ROCKM version 5.4.2 and not the most recent version which is 5.5, so that's the version we'll download. If you're using Ubuntu version 20.04, then copy and paste this first box of code to download the installer script. Since I'm running a distro based on Ubuntu 22.04, I'll copy and paste the second box. Now that the installer script is downloaded, we now need to run it to install the drivers. This script actually contains more than just ROCKM, and also contains the GPU drivers for gaming, media encoders, and more. I'm going to install these and a few other options as well, including HIP, which is required for GPU computing and applications such as Blender. So this is what I recommend entering for the use cases. Depending on your internet connection, it might take a while to finish downloading all the packages. Now that it's finished, we now need to download and install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. It turns out ROCKM isn't a replacement for CUDA, but it's more like a translation layer API. So PyTorch still requires the CUDA toolkit to be installed. This package will take a while to finish as well. Next, enter this command to add the user to the render group, which gives access to the GPU hardware and be sure to replace username with your own username. Now the next step is to set this environment variable, but this might not be necessary depending on the GPU you're running. If you're running a professional workstation GPU such as the Radeon Pro W7000 or W6000 series, then you won't need to do the following step. But here's where it gets a little confusing. Some consumer grade cards can also skip the following step, but not all of them. If you're running an RDNA 2 GPU with 16 gigabytes of memory, such as the RX 6800 XT or 6900 XT, then you can also skip the following step. But for the lower tier cards, such as the 6600 XT and 6700 XT, which is what I'm personally using, you'll need to do the following step. Older generations of cards might need to do this step as well. And it appears some generations also require additional steps not listed here in my guide, according to this Reddit thread. So if you're running an older card, I suggest checking out this thread as well. Now you could simply enter this command in the terminal, but it won't be permanent. To make it permanent, open dot profile in an editor like this, and paste the command at the bottom of the file. 
Then press Ctrl X and make sure to save it before exiting. Now make sure to restart your system before continuing, regardless if you had to do this step or not. Alright, so after rebooting the computer, ROCKM should be installed to the system. To confirm that it was successful, you can run ROCKM-SMI. You can also run ROCKM info to verify, and you should see a long list of details about your GPU. If either of these commands returns with an error, then something went wrong with the driver installation, so make sure they work before continuing. The next thing we need to do is install PyTorch. The ROCKM version of PyTorch needs to be installed with PIP, so first make sure your system has PIP. If not, you can install it with this package. Also, you might want to create a Python virtual environment before installing packages with PIP, but it's not necessary. Now copy and paste this command here to install PyTorch. Once it's finished, let's verify that it was installed successfully and that GPU support is working as well. To do this, first enter Python 3 in the terminal to open the Python console. Now copy and paste these two lines of code and push enter. If it returns true, then everything is set up and ready to go. Type exit parentheses to exit the Python console. Now let's try it out with a real application using YOLO object detection. So let's take a look at the YOLO v5 repository on GitHub first. While there are newer versions of YOLO available, I've found that v5 works even on older hardware, so it's a good version to try out first before trying a newer version. Let's go back to my website where I've included the commands to install it. First, copy and paste these commands to download the repository and install the dependencies with pip. After it's done, you'll also need to install this software package before running the application. Now we're ready to run the inference. The easiest way to do that is to enter this command and make sure you have a webcam connected to the system. It will probably take several minutes to load the first time but each time you run it afterwards, it should start almost immediately. And there it is. YOLO is now running on the GPU, and it's getting really good performance with hardly any CPU usage. Now to quit, you can either press Q on the window or press Ctrl C in the terminal. So now let's try out a different application. Let's see how to get Stable Diffusion Web UI running. I've included the necessary commands on my website, but you'll probably want to visit its GitHub page as well and head to the AMD section since there's some extra arguments you might need to run if you're using an older GPU. But if your card is an RX 6000 series like mine, then you won't need to. So the first thing is to make sure the Python virtual environment package is installed. If not, then here's how to install the package. Next. Clone the Stable Diffusion repository and initiate a virtual environment with this command. Now before starting the application, we need to download a model to run on it, which can be found on huggingface.co. Type Stable Diffusion in the search bar and you'll see several results. Different models will produce different results, and the newer ones are typically more accurate and detailed. So let's download version 2-1 which appears to be the latest one. I've included the direct download link for version 2-1 on my written guide. So I'll just download it there. Once it's done, you'll need to move the file into the correct directory. Go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, then Models, and then Stable Diffusion. You'll see a note here that this is where you should place the checkpoints. So go ahead and move the file here. Now we're ready to run the application, so enter this command to get it started. And again, it will probably take a while to start the first time, but after that it should start almost immediately. If you see a warning when it's loading that says, cannot locate TC malloc, then you can improve performance by installing another package. But I'll first wait for this application to finish loading. And then now I'll press Ctrl C to exit. Now I'll install that extra package. 
and the next time I run the app, that warning should be gone, and we'll have better performance. Alright, so now let's go to the browser and enter localhost colon 7860 as the address, and the web UI should pop up. Now if you downloaded an older checkpoint than the one I did, for example version 1-5, then it should be ready to go. Simply enter the keywords you want and then push enter. And again, the first time it runs will take a lot longer than subsequent runs. However, if you downloaded the Stable Diffusion version 2-1 checkpoint like I did, you'll probably see an error like this. To fix this, go to Settings and then Stable Diffusion, and then enable this setting. Upcast Cross Attention Layer to Float32, and then hit Apply at the top. Now you can reload the model and it should be good to go, so let's try it again. And as you can see, Stable Diffusion is now running perfectly good on an AMD GPU. To quit the application, go to the terminal and press Ctrl C. Now the process for installing RockM on an Arch-based distro is extremely similar except for two key differences. To install the AMD drivers, all you need to do is install the OpenCL-AMD package from the AUR, which can be done with this command. And then to install PyTorch, you'll just need to install these two packages. If your CPU is more than several years old and it doesn't support the AVX2 instruction set, then be sure to install this package with OPT emitted from the package name. And other than that, the rest of the guide should be extremely similar, but of course you'll need to download the provided packages via Pacman instead of APT. Now something to take note of is that at the time of making this video, it turns out there's an issue with the RockM drivers in the current version of OpenCL-AMD in Arch. Which is kind of funny because in my previous video talking about RockM, the Arch drivers were working perfectly fine, and it was the Ubuntu version that was having dependency issues for me at that time. But now the situation is reversed. I believe RockM version 5.5 is what's causing the problems, since that's what's bundled with the latest release of OpenCL-AMD. So to get around this issue, you could either roll back that package to an older one, or wait for an update to fix this. Well, hopefully you found this guide to be helpful and easy to follow. If you did, then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and let me know how it went for you. If you have any questions or issues, then feel free to drop a comment as well, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm planning to apply YOLO object detection to a custom security camera Python project that I've made a few videos about already. So feel free to check out that playlist if you're interested in following along. But anyway, that's all for today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.